What's up everybody, Josh Armijo here, I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the debut album from the band Whore of Bethlehem, entitled Upon Judas' Throne. This is self-released. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Austin, Texas, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very metaphysical, blasphemous, unique hybrid of both brutal death metal, and black metal. Now, you would think that merging those two musical stylings together wouldn't probably work so well, but in my opinion, in the case of Whore of Bethlehem, I think this is a band that merges the best of both of those worlds together and creates a sound that's just so dynamic and just so crushing. I've been very interested in this band's evolvement for the, for the longest time now, um, I saw them early on last in the very beginnings of last year, I want to say, and I was immediately impressed because I knew the people who were involved in the project, but I had never really heard Whore of Bethlehem. And I really, really was floored and blown away by their performance and their professionalism. It's really, It was really, really amazing. And then hearing the, the three-track demo that they released a, a few years ago, it was really, really amazing. And this band features a who's who of people that are involved in some really, really incredible Texas metal bands. Most notably, Blasphirian, uh, Disfigured, Scattered Remains, uh, Flesh Hoarder, Uncleansed. Just a great deal of Texas metal bands coming together to create this kind of project. Now we move forward to now, and there's been a bit of a lineup change of, of sorts. Um, different vocalist. Nowadays they have a different, uh, a different bassist. But now we have the official first full length from Four of Bethlehem entitled uh, uh, Upon Judas's Throne. It's 10 tracks and it clocks in at around 33 and a half minutes in length. And pretty much this is another really awesome step forward for what this band has already been accomplishing. And if you happen to be into stuff like, let's say, maybe Belfigor, or Incantation, or Archgoat, and speaking of Archgoat, it's funny that I mentioned them, because of course the band name is Whore of Bethlehem, and one of the first things that I think of when I think of Whore of Bethlehem is Archgoat, because they had the the album and the song of, this, of that title. It's really, really great. And, um, of course, there are also really awesome Texas bands like Sarcolytic or Braced for Nails or Sect of Execration. I think of, of those particular Texas bands when it comes to Whore of Bethlehem. There's a lot of great influences to be heard throughout this entire release, and they showcase those influences very, very well here. Um, it's evidented when you first hear the opening riffs of, a pond, of the title track, and then tracks like Hideous Resurrection then uh, Storm of Plague and Leviathan's Crown. Just some really, really devastating riff work going on here. The tone that's being executed here sounds absolutely perfect. I love the way that the guitar riffs are being utilized and the way everything sounds and the way everything is played. It works out very, very well. Um, great, great dual interplay between the guitars on this album. Uh, really good solo works in certain instances, um, but more likely than anything, this is an album that's dominated by very, very heavy, heavy guitar riffs. And of course, you get the black metal influence that this band has, and you hear the and you hear those kind of style of riffs very, very well here. And I think it works works very creatively for what's being done here, song songwriting wise, and uh, overall the structuring of everything. I think it's really, really cool. Um, the bass tone is very good, too. I love the way the bass sounds in this mix. It's not too audible to where you think it's going to overpower the mix, but yet what, um, what, what, what's being done with the bass guitar is very, very well. It has a nice, very warm quality to it. Uh, very well played, very well heard, and definitely a major factor to the, to the balance of this particular album. And it makes things glide along smoothly very well. Uh, moving on to the drums, I think the drums are on fire here. Uh, Renee is pretty much one of the top 
drummers in the state of Texas, in my opinion, and his performance on this particular album showcases why he is such a big deal and is so good at what he does. He is a very, very determined drummer, very agile to play any sort of style, whether it be traditional death metal or brutal death metal, or even the black metal sort of instances that you hear on this particular uh, band. I think he can pull it off and make it work very, very well here. Um, really, really awesome fills, great double bass, nice blast beats, great snare tone. Um, just the overall attention to detail as far as the acoustics and the instrumentation. I think he pulls it off quite nicely here with the drum performance. Uh, it can be, it can range from being very fast paced to very mid tempo, but yet I think he pulls it off in all, in all aspects of this album. And uh, moving on to the vocals, if I'm not mistaken, the guy that does the vocals for this band was in Uncleansed for a certain period of time, but now he's moved over to Whore of Bethlehem, and I think he really, really showcases the kind of dynamic vocal range he can really have. He's got some really, really awesome vocals going for him. I love his growls. You can definitely understand everything that he says, uh, even to the more mid-range growls, to the high-end kind of screams. He definitely pulls it out very well and definitely makes for a very multi-tiered style of vocal performance. I think it's really, really incredible. And not to mention the lyrical content is something very special, too. Of course... The lyrics, in some certain instances, the lyrics aren't really breaking any sort of new ground. But for what be, for what's being pulled off here with with this band, I think it's incredible. Um, pretty much, you get your lyrics ranging from pretty much blasphemous Satanism to a track like "Castle of Meth," which has a bit of a drug addiction sort of theme going on to it. And I think it's very, very creative what's being done with that particular track. And then you get to. Um, the crowning moment and then tracks like leviathan's crown just some very very articulate lyric writing going on here um but yeah there's there's a different array of topics to be heard on this particular album some original some not so original but yet i think it it works out very very well here for this band so overall I think this is a very, very impressive debut and definitely something to be looking out for if you're into Texas death metal or any sort of format of, 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 of metal. Whore of Bethlehem are definitely going to be on the rise and definitely in due time they will be a force to be reckoned with. So if I had to pick any favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say Upon Judas's Throne, uh, Hideous Resurrection, The Crowning Moment, uh, Nocturnal Hauntings, um, Leviathan's Crown, uh, yeah, just some really, really good tracks to be heard on this album. So I'm going to leave you a link in the description box to the official Whore of Bethlehem website where you can stream selected tracks off of this particular album. And this album is available for sale both digitally and physically. This is uh, released through the band and it is a very, very legit CD. Uh, great design in the, uh, in, the, in the booklet, the CD itself. The artwork is really awesome too. They also got shirts, koozies, and whatever you desire to check out of this band. So it is definitely recommended that it that it be a, that it be done. So again, the album is Upon Judas's Throne by Whore of Bethlehem. This is self-released. Definitely check this out. I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10. Really, really awesome debut and another shining representation of what Texas death metal is all about. So support Whore of Bethlehem. I'm gonna I'm gonna conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel, and until the next time. Army Hill out.